Okay, welcome back everybody to the channel Justin with Crest Coast Tattoos and we here with another video Okay, welcome back everybody. So today I'm about to be going over with you all how to use the freehand tool in Procreate And as you know right here, this is the selection tool and at the bottom it's going to say freehand So we about to get started with the flower. We're going to change this flower from this to yellow so you're going to start by just tapping down as you see the dot, you're going to keep going over, tap down as you see the dot, and then start moving. You can move freely with your hand just freehanding, just selecting it, or back up if you mess up, freehand tool, just freehanding it. Or you can wait till you get by a straight area like this and you can just tap down to make a straight line. Keep on freehanding, straight line, then you tap down and you can just keep freehanding the rest of the flower. If you go too far, just make sure you double tap to go back. That's how you undo. You're going to keep on selecting. Tap if you mess up. Keep on selecting the rest of the flower. Now the flower is selected. So we're gonna go to a new layer. It's gonna automatically show what is selected and what's not. And we're gonna take a yellow. And we're gonna fill in. So you can just drag your color over and fill in the whole flower. That'll be very simple for you. The next step you're gonna wanna do is the stem. We're gonna make sure we take out of the stem and put it on a new layer. So we're gonna hold back down. See if we invert it. Now we're gonna select. Make sure we don't remove. No add. Let's keep it on add. And we're gonna select the stem itself. So we definitely want this on a whole different layer on top of everything. Straight line, tap. Go around it. It can be a little tricky with the little add and remove. But this on adds, I believe, is automatically going to add that little space right there, as you see. Let's see if we could copy and paste that. And we just have the stem by itself now. That's on its own layer. And what we're going to do is make that stem itself white. Oh, we didn't take care of that, huh? Well, let's add this white in here because you could definitely do multiple selecting. I didn't show you all that. I'm going to show you all later down the road. So we're just going to add that little piece of stem in there, right? You see, and you learned something, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so I can keep these videos rolling and you don't miss out on no tips or tricks to help you better your game with your tattooing because I know you got it. You got the potential, all that. So keep pushing, keep driving. We gonna get there together. Now we have the stem on its own layer. Now let's get back to here to start adding our shadows, which is gonna be a darker yellow. So we're gonna go to the <clears throat> selection tool. We're gonna make it like to curve with the flower. So we're gonna go up, curve around the leaves, come back down, curve it, add some shape there, and then select it, right? And all we have to do, we're gonna make it on a new layer though. All we have to do is slide the color over and then select it. You see we have a shadow there now. And all we're gonna do now is go back, hold down on it. And we're gonna add to selection. Make sure it's on add. You wanna go back around. Make sure you select everything you don't want, tap the dot, and it's gonna remove that. So we will still come back and add that shape in. Add that color back in. We can now just draw back in that that we didn't select from the beginning. So let's go back. We're going to add to the rest of the flower. Go by selecting around the whole flower. Adding shadows. And tap to add. Now we're gonna to go to remove just so you all can see the whole design. 
You want to go around the whole design and tap. See how it's removing it? Now we're going to get the shadow. This was the purpose of removing the stem. So we're going to go behind, add shapes so we can go all through it. And it don't really affect the stem itself. We select. Okay, you see what we're selecting? And select that. And let's go to this part. Make sure we select. Add a little piece there. Tap the dot to select it. Tap the dot, select. And you're going to do this throughout the whole flower. It makes the job a lot easier. I don't know if it makes it easier for you all. Let me know if this helps. Because I didn't know about this selection tool at first. But now I do. And it definitely makes things a lot easier. So I thought you couldn't go back and select. But as you see, me tapping and I'm going around and selecting as much as I want to. Go back down on select. Yeah, because once you leave out, people think you can't um, go back. Make sure it's not removed. People think you can't go back, but yes, you can. You just got to go to the remove tool. So if you click on your pencil and you think you're stuck with this, you're not. Go back and hold down and it's going to pop back up for you all. Now, since we have everything that I want to add the shadows to, let's go back and invert it. And that's where we're going to have the colors at, right? So we're not worried about the stem because we already got the stem on a new layer. So let's take the shadows. And it's all in now. Boom. Something new. But if we wouldn't have did the stem, this is what it would have looked like. That's why you want your stem. on a new layer so now what we're going to do since we have shadows in the flowers that we got any spots that we didn't get to we can always go in we got that we can always go in what add more tap where we want more shadows at tap bring your colors threshold and it's going to color in all those spots that you selected now we're going to go and add a few shadows just for demonstration purposes so y'all can see how you can bring this whole design to life. We're gonna go in and select the shadows and the stem. You want that. You're gonna invert so y'all can see a little better. You're gonna tap there, tap there, tap, tap. Everywhere we want those shadows to fall at, that's the selections we wanna make. Tap there, so now they are selected, right? Now you can go back to invert it, pull your gray over, pull it to the side, threshold, and boom, we got us some shadows. So let me know what you all think of this. I'm going to do the same thing with a little white and put it on the top, top layer, just so you all can see how this all works out pretty well. You want our white right there. Make sure you invert so you can see the rest of it. Remove. Make sure you don't remove. But you so let me know what you all think of this. Hopefully it helped you all out. And hopefully see y'all in the next video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know y'all thoughts so I can continue to make these videos for you all every day. I want to help as best as I could. So keep watching.